pulled in tonight at Lake Muir Observatory. This fancy structure here was apparently constructed for around about a million dollars. And the idea of all this was for people to come here, walk along the boardwalk, get to the lake, and be able to view the bird life. Unfortunately, when we get to the end, and this is at the end of winter, you will see the reason why this was a complete and utter waste of money. This is the fancy little bird observatory. All very pretty and all completely and utterly useless. Out there, somewhere, you can see a thin sheet of water. Uh, this is at the very end of winter. It's about the only time you're ever going to see any kind of water across there. Most of the year, that is completely dry. This observatory was built in completely the wrong spot. We've been here a couple of times. This is the first time we've ever seen any water in the lake at all. A very impressive and completely useless structure. I've got a 600mm lens and I wouldn't even get close to seeing birds if there's any birds out on that water at all. I don't know who ever designed this or came up with the idea but uh, they must have had some relatives with the construction business. It's the only way I can work out that anybody would have built this. If there was water just behind these bushes, perhaps it would be a different story. But unfortunately, yeah, a million dollars worth of taxpayers' money down the toilet, as so often happens with these sort of things. It's been here for a very long time. We've been here, as I say, a couple of times before, it was years ago. It all looks in fairly good condition, but really rather pointless which is rather sad. Very few people actually bother to come to the car park and come out here because they know what they're going to see. Nothing. And there are a couple of little sheltered areas here with seats in. Perhaps this might not have been the complete waste of money that it is if they'd bothered to put a couple of barbecues in. At least then it would have been a nice place for people to come and have a barbecue. There is actually a toilet. Which is in good condition. Well, they're very nice pretty pictures. Just seen one of these fellas under the walkway today. This is actually quite a good spot for people to overnight if they're on the way along the Muir Highway. As you can see, little picnic tables. The addition of a couple of barbecues in here really would have made a big difference to this site. It would have got a lot more use. Okay, toilet coming up on the left. Good little toilet. Usually clean. It's toilet paper some disinfectant and it even has a water tank you can use the water for washing your hands wouldn't use it for drinking of course from these sort of sources not generally a good idea and the water tank and a nice clean toilet yeah, which some idiot has forgotten to put the toilet seat down on why do they always do that are you using a bush toilet Please put the seat down, keeps the flies and everything out of them. Yeah, good little toilet. 
handy for people coming along the Muir Highway as well who need a rest stop. And that's about it. Plenty of parking. Hardly anybody ever comes in here. I think there's been about three cars in today. A lot of nice ferns around, not many wildflowers. Very little out at the moment down here. And this is October. But a pleasant enough little spot if you're looking for somewhere to stay overnight on the Muir Highway. <laughs>